Beautiful warm morning here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Spud's Garage is uh, bringing you a nice 57 Chevy Bel Air Post. You don't see many of these babies. Same owner, 23, 24 years. Paint on the car is uh, over 30 years old, about 30 some years old, 33, 35. It's beautiful. Just take a peek. Nice California, Arizona body. This is just the beginning of the video. Just hang on to the end of the video here all the way to the end. You'll find uh, engine compartment, trunk, undercarriage, interior. And of course, when, always when you're, uh, as always, when you're done, you want to go to spudsgarage.com where you'll find uh, plenty of still photos and more details. One of the funnest things about this car is its body. Look at the door gaps there. Gaps. It's the way the doors open and shut, both sides. A little view of the interior. Four speed, nice hot rod, recovery room interior. Watch this. And I was probably do easier than that. Beautiful. Let's do that again just for fun. Got bags on the front. You allow you to bring it down for a show stance. Look at that. Whistle straight. Alright, let's take you inside. It's got power windows. Uh, it's all ultra leather, correct? Yes. Okay. Victor Charlie 57L, 115627. Where it's supposed to be. You don't see many Bel Air uh, post cars. Pop that seat up there for me. Got seat belts in the back for the grandkids. Let's pop it back.
back up there for me. It's hard to do this sometimes with uh, one hand. Dome light works. Clock works. It's got the new uh, Dakota Digital Series. New design. Air conditioning, there's the front bag control right there. Man, it's nice to see a four speed. It's in neutral. In neutral. Dash padded. As always, you need to hang on to the end of the video here because we cover engine, engine uh, compartment, undercarriage, uh, a few other details, trunk. But when you're all said and done, make sure you go to spudsgarage.com and look at the still photos, high resolution, about 60 plus of them. Anyway, get right, in. Let's take a look under the hood. It's nice 57. It's got a Matson radiator and core support. It's an engineered combination, um, expanding core technology so that you won't end up with the leaks like you typically would with uh, others' radiators. Got dual cooling fans. It's a 383 stroker. It's got aluminum heads, Doug Thorley head, uh, headers, heat coated headers, MSD and Nick ignition, Team G, G Force uh, intake manifold. Holly 800, uh, Zoops chrome billet, uh, serpentine belt drive system, high amp alternator, power steering pump, it's got painless wiring, CPP 500 uh, uh, steering box. It's a healthy little car. Gear drive, it's full roller engine. Uh, cam and uh, rockers. Very drivable, no overheat issues. Nice Lake Havasu City morning. the uh, chrome uh, power steering booster master cylinder it does have four wheel disc brakes it's hooked to a Muncie excuse me Muncie four speed right M22 yep. fun car to drive there you have it go ahead Raising it up, it's got airbags on the front so you can drop the nose down. There's good. Drop back down if you can, if you want, Bob. It's a really nice uh, trunk area. It's uh, done by Recovery Room, right? Yes. Yeah, here in Lake Havasu City, the interior, same guy that did the interior. 
um, that uh, this goes in the front on the uh, on the hump. That is a gel battery back there, an AGM gel. Little storage area here. What's behind this panel is uh, the air tanks and also room to have chairs and stuff stored in there. It does have chairs in it right now. Really nice. Drop it down. Just brakes, power steering. California body and the floor pans just rock solid. Front tires are 195-65R15s, I believe I'm seeing. Traction bars. Rear disc brakes, slotted rotors, 255-60R15s. Dry heat geezer's plaque does not go with the car. Okay, more solid.